Unlike any other disc cutter, the high-quality precision cutter made by Swanstrom Tool USA features punches that are angled and sharply ground to cut cleanly. Made of hardened and tempered shock-resistant tool steel for strength and durability, this just may be the last cutter set you'll ever need. All of its critical surfaces are precision ground to extremely tight tolerances, ensuring a clean cut and protecting the cutter against damage. Before using the cutter, set it on a heavy workbench or other substantial work platform. Turn the clamping handle a half turn to slightly loosen the spring-loaded clamping bolt. Lift both the top and bottom dies straight up, allowing the punches to slide out onto the work surface. Set both dies back on the work surface in a clear area. We strongly recommend using a urethane pad under the cutter. This will help ensure each cut is clean and complete. Place your metal sheet between the die plates under the hole corresponding to your desired disc size. On the opposite side of the cutter die, between the die plates, place a shim of metal with the same thickness as the metal you're going to cut. Turn the clamping handle to tighten the bolt and secure the material and shim in place. If the handle is blocking the area of the punch you will be using, lift the handle and turn it to reposition it out of the way. Select the appropriate punch for the hole. Apply a lubricant such as Burlife to the punch. Place the punch into the desired hole in the top die plate. Strike the punch firmly with a one or two pound brass head mallet. Turn the clamping handle to loosen the bolt and lift both die plates straight up off the work surface, allowing the cut disc and the punch to drop from the hole. Precisely machined from Delrin to fit into the Swanstrom disc cutter, the center positioning dies allow you to create beautifully centered washer components quickly and easily using your Swanstrom cutter. To create a washer component, you first punch the washer center hole from your metal, then punch the outer circumference to form the washer. Position your sheet under the hole size corresponding to the washer's interior diameter. Remember to allow enough room around this inner hole to accommodate the outer diameter you want the washer to have. Select the appropriate sized punch and cut the hole in your metal. Set the disc aside to be recycled or for future use. Move the metal sheet to position the hole you just cut under the hole in the die plate that corresponds to the desired outside diameter of your washer. Insert the center positioning die of that size into the hole and gently tap it with your fingertips while gently moving the metal plate, allowing the metal to center itself under the hole. Once it's positioned, insert your shim and tighten the clamping bolt. Remove the positioning die, place the punch in the hole, and strike it to cut the metal. Always use Burlife on your punch for smoother cutting action and to further protect the cutter. Loosen the clamping bolt and lift the die plates to release the punch and your perfectly symmetrical ring component. Experiment, if you like, to produce rings with off-center holes using the positioning dies. These are ideal for earring, bracelet, or necklace and pendant drops, even for link components. Your cuts will be smoother and more uniform. They'll be easier to finish and present a very professional look. Used properly, the Swanstrom disc cutter will serve you for years to come.